Hey everybody, James Hinchcliffe here, and we're gonna take you for an onboard lap at the brand new road course at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Down the yard of bricks, down the front straight here, we're gonna see speeds. We haven't seen road course trim IndyCar for a long time, over 190 miles an hour, hard on the brakes for turn one here. Turn one down to second gear, very tight right-left combination. A little bit of compromise for turn one to set up for turn two, because it's good to get a power down, a little bit of run down here into the tricky turn four. The rear end really wants to step out on the brakes here. You're turning in, braking at the same time. Long corner, punishing the tires, but it's important to get hard on the gas, flat out through this 5-6 chicane, up through the gears, down the back straightaway here. This is the same straight. This is one of the few parts that's the same from the Formula One configuration. Pretty much the rest of the layout is different. Down here, another great passing opportunity into turn seven, smooth as silk on the brake zone, which is really nice for us. Big curves there, you can't quite touch them. And this heads into the 8, 9, 10 complex, super critical for lap time, very technical. S is here, it's all about momentum. If you overdrive one, it's gonna hurt you for the rest of them. Down now, out of turn 10. This is the third longest straightaway on the track through the long turn 11. This is kind of a neck stretcher a little bit here. You go back up onto the banking here in the short shoot between one and two. And again, hard on the brakes, maybe a passing opportunity later in a stint. Turn 12, again, gotta stay off the curb. Coming around turn 13 here and hard on the power. This is obviously the most important exit that you have the entire lap because you've got to get down this long front straightaway here. It's a 2.43 mile track we've got and that turn 14 transitioning back onto the oval is, uh, it's again, a bit of a neck stretcher. It looks really easy, but I'll tell you when the tires get old, it starts getting very tricky. Again, one of the big things for this racetrack is figuring out the level of downforce to run. A lot of guys are trimming, which makes the braking like there into turn one a little difficult. And of course, these longer, fast corners like the one we're coming up to, again, turn four, that much harder to keep the car into you, but you gain all that speed in the straightaway, starting right here, out of turn four, through this fast chicane again. Use all the curves that you can. Car's bouncing off them. It looks spectacular. It feels spectacular from inside. Again, you can gain some time down this straightaway if you're trimmed, but this next section is where you really lose it when you're light on downforce. It's all about compromise from here on. You can't exit too far to the right or else you're not gonna set up well for turn eight here. This is turn nine, little tap of the brakes, maybe heading into 10 and using as much of the curb there as you can get away with. The rear end wants to jump out there because we're running the car so low on this smooth surface. Again, transitioning back onto the banking. Very tricky brake zone here because you're still kind of turning. You've just come up onto the bank of the oval and through the little S's here. Again, super important corner there in 13, but here we're gonna dive into the pits. And there's a couple laps around the brand new circuit here at IMS for the first ever Grand Prix of Indianapolis.